What is up, everybody? It's Joe from JLW Games coming at you with another cool live stream slash video, and I actually didn't mean to have the webcam on, but that's okay, I guess. It, it, whatever. Um, I wasn't prepared for lighting and stuff, so that's gonna be turned off. But anyways, you got to see me for a second in the new year. So anyways, Happy New Year, everybody! How is everybody doing? We're gonna kick off things with 2018 with an awesome start. Uh, with a new episode of Arrow Valley, of course. So I'm very excited. I hope you guys are very excited. We're going to hop right into it. We're going to be creating a water ride today. And we're going to be doing it in this space right here. This is going to probably be our last major attraction in the park. Uh, and then we're going to get down to a lot of just details, more shops and stuff like that. So I hope you guys love the introduction of the awesome music from Epidemic Sound. I absolutely love it. Hopefully... Um, I up did some up graphic updates on my PC and everything, and hopefully it might have hel helps with a little bit of the lagginess. I don't know if it's going to do that, but I'll look into some more stuff to maybe help out uh, to make the uh, live stream a little bit more enjoyable, because last stream we had a lot of lagging issues in the stream, and a lot of people have noticed, so uh, I want to say it's on YouTube, but I'm going to try my best to see if there's anything I can do to help fix that as much as I can. So... Um, if it is on my side, you know, I'm not saying I'm totally not guilty, but again, I've never had issues with it, uh, unless I'm doing YouTube, you know, unless I'm, uh, live streaming on YouTube, because when I live stream on, like, Twitch and stuff, I don't have that issue, so that's kind of an interesting thing there, so what we're gonna do is, I'm actually gonna undo that, and we're gonna get into a little bit of the ride process here, so we're gonna head into tracked rides, because that's where we're gonna be going into... Who is your inspiration for building good coasters? This is a very good question. I watch a lot of different people, actually. I watch a bunch of Silverhead, the Lady Designer, Rudy Rankamel, or Rudy Rankamel, whatever, however you want to say it. <laughs> a lot of these other people. Um, what's his name? Euthris or something like that? Uh, I, I just watch a lot of people to get a lot of inspiration sometimes. So I just, I, I watch all the, a lot of guys, a lot of people. It's a mixture of a lot of people. So, um,. I highly recommend just all of those guys that I just mentioned. They're all very, very good, build or great builders of uh, Planet Coaster, and uh, I would recommend each one of them. So just uh, make sure you uh, check them out. All right. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating a water ride. So we're going to be doing. I wanted. I, I I made the decision that I want to do a log flume because I love log flumes and. Um, I'm going to do the most, the best I can on this log flume, and we'll see where it goes. What I'm going to actually try and do is actually use the ground to my advantage here. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be, uh, hopefully, uh, I go, let's get the, that on there. So, um, is that the shortest I can make it? It looks like it, which is weird. So, I'm actually going to use possibly this. I don't know how well this will work. Yeah, that's too deep. We don't want to go that deep. We just want to uh, head it down just a little bit like this. And the idea is we're going to... Uh... See, I wish I could make slightly shorter pieces with this. But I guess I cannot do that. Alright, so I'm going to see if this is actually going to work. This is my first time actually doing it in this way that I'm going to be doing. And what I'm going to be doing is we're going to be trying to put this underwater. Okay, that's kind of going to be our idea here. Let's see what we can do, and I'll adjust it accordingly. So we're going to put this actually in a body of water. So the ride's going to be actually surrounded inside water. And I'm gonna just going to test this. I probably should have... Uh, we're going to do the water first, and then we're going to put it inside the water. I think that will be a little bit more beneficial. So I'm actually going to go a little bit lower on this. A little bit deeper in the water. That way we can get an appropriate uh, body of water working for us here, because this park doesn't have yet... Did not really have, uh, like, any body of water, and we're going to change that here by uh, actually placing this in here. So... Again, I hope the uh, live stream is a little bit less laggy this time around on, like, the last stream. Uh, I'm going to do it. I did a little bit. I'm, I I, I kind of cleared my computer out, tried to make it my computer working maybe just a little bit better. Maybe that helps. I don't know. 
Uh, but so far, on my end, it looks fantastic as of right now. So, um... It's usually when I do, like, POVs and stuff is when it really kind of starts uh, messing up a little bit, but uh, we're, we'll get into that. So let's go ahead and edit this, and I believe you can just dump it right in the in the water with no issue. Yes, we can. So that just makes it a little bit better for us. All right, so I kind of just want to start the station right at water at the level that I want it so uh, that will be a little bit easier and just start off there and we'll go from there what did I miss you haven't really missed much I haven't really I just we just have started so good for you all right so we can start this in the water and I want the flume in a certain spot where the water is just covering up the flume that way it looks like it's just more of a guide more than anything uh, it looks like it's actually using the real water so that looks like a pretty good level right there let's see where we're at yes all right See, I want the flume to pretty much just be a guide for the uh, ride itself, so uh, we're just going to... And it's not going to be a very big water ride. We're going to have a splash, of course. And I might add just a little bit of theming elements around, but... Uh, but again, we're not going to be doing a lot of theming, so... In fact, I think I'm going to start the very beginning of the ride indoors, possibly. Alright, I didn't put the dock underwater, did I? No, I didn't. Okay, as long as that's not underwater, I think we should be good. Are you going to do meetups at parks, and will you announce them? I could. I mean, I don't have a lot of uh, funds to actually do visit a ton of parks and I have a couple of parks I do want to visit today or this year so <clears throat> uh, my main two is Dollywood and of course Kings Island and uh, Holiday World and uh, Cedar Point those are like the main ones I want to try and get to all right so the ride's pretty much just going to do a turnaround here We're going to create a... Let's go ahead and place a straight section. I wish we could make it just a little bit like... I don't know. I'm going to do a straight section there as it turns around. And uh, again, we're going to have some theming elements going on all around here. So, uh... We're just going to do a little turn. And uh, when it goes out of the water, we're going to have like the uh, lift. The conveyor belt lift. Speed the process along here. And then when we turn around, we'll splash right down into the floor of the water. <laughs> but as, as much as I would love to get around to a lot of parks, I just don't have the funds. And, uh, you know, if I made a enough funds maybe but as of right now I don't have the funds to really do that should I start like a GoFundMe page have JLW games travel around uh, America so he can go <laughs> visit all these parks nah I'm not gonna do that okay so we wanna have this and this particular spot. And we have a nice splashdown. I want that to be underwater, so maybe one more. That might be it right there. Yeah, that's pretty good. And we're going to uh, adjust everything here.
So again, we're going to add some theming and stuff as well. This isn't going to be a very long ride, but it's just going to be that water ride in the uh, a water ride in the park, you know. Want to make sure the splashdown is large enough to slow the boats down. Gonna have a turn around here. And we're pretty much gonna just get back to the station. You just got our main water water splash. Alright, and I'm just gonna go inside the ground here for right now. At the moment. We're gonna have a turn around here to get us around there. All right, perfect. Now I'm gonna have to, we're gonna lower the, we're just gonna expand this water stream around here. Just kind of like that. And a piece of land wants to stay up here. But we can't let that happen. There we go. I got that fixed. And that's just kind of the idea. Very basic, like, layout. Nothing, like, special. Kind of short. I didn't want to do anything too ridiculous. Oops. All right, now we're gonna head back into the terrain. But don't worry too much, we're gonna be theming it, uh, we're gonna do some theming elements. Uh, it's not gonna be heavily themed again, but uh, we're gonna put s something there. And I want that nice water front right by the Giga Coaster. Just that nice water right by it. We're gonna adjust all the water sections here. And we have a nice little pond lake area here within the park. That's just gonna serve it very nicely. I wanna keep a little bit of space too. And now we're gonna do our first little terraforming. For the most part, this park is gonna be on flat land. But we're going to do a little bit of terraforming here and there around the outside of the park. But the main part of the park is going to stay kind of enclosed in the flat land section. So we're going to just kind of put this on a hill a little bit. So it's not completely flattened in this spot. No way there's a little bit of terraforming going on. You also get some nice view beautiful views. Once we get all the scenery and scenic stuff in, it's gonna really make you go, wow, that's awesome. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna add some texturing a little bit along the uh, riverside here. I might actually need to smooth those edges out just a little bit so they're uh, final before I do anything else so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on uh, sampled and we're gonna use the smooth these uh, rough edges out just a little bit so it's nice a nice and smooth transition here we'll have a nice smooth transition to the water area very nice And I want to leave a little bit of room for expansion on some areas as well, so... Who knows, I might add more to the water eventually. Who knows? I'm just gonna keep on... Doing a little bit of more blending here. And then we're gonna add some nice... Just a little bit of rocky texture blending on the hill. Just 
Let's do some nice blending. But I hope everyone has a wonderful 2018 year. It's going to be a pretty good year for roller coasters and uh, parks and stuff as well. So we want to make sure we keep that uh, in mind. Which I'm sure we will, so. Alright, so what we're going to do, we're going to add some nice nature-esque scenery spots here on the hill. So we have this wonderful log flume ride emerge. Alright, so let's get some mixture of some beautiful trees in here. I'm going to put some nice little uh, tropical bushes just on the edge of the water here, just for that nice feel of, you know, tropical ish sections. Now just a couple palm trees on the edge. It'll give it that nice tropical-ish feel to it. Just a little bit. We're going to use it very nicely, very well. I know I got a lot of requests for putting a water coaster in this spot, but... I just wanted to do something, throw something in there that's easy. I don't want to do it. I didn't want to do anything too complicated. I just wanted to put a simple water ride in here. But you're already making a new one. I just finished the last episode. Awesome. Uh, but again, this is the, I'm in the off season now, so I am full time YouTube as of right now. So you're gonna be seeing a lot of Arrow Valley very, 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 very soon. Lots of Arrow Valley. So this is going to be beautiful. I want to add a couple of fountains around the ride too. That would be nice. Just a, just a couple of fountains. And this will probably be the only water ride at opening. Uh, we might add some more later in the days. You know, because I'm always going to be adding more stuff to my parks. And making them better. So I'm always going to be upgrading and uh, just like real parks, we're going to actually be keeping it up to code. And sometimes that does mean removing attractions sometimes. What other coasters are you going to build? Um, I don't think so. I, I actually think that's it. This is it. We got the coasters in the park. This is all the coasters that are going to be in the park, which is I think is a pretty uh, decent collection of rides. Uh, we have a wooden coaster, of course, and we have uh, our steel coasters, and they're all uh, a pretty good collection, I think, so. But again, uh, this is going to be that park that, you know, is always adding, of course, but. <clears throat> this is the year of Steel Vengeance and Time Traveler. That is true. That is very true, and I'm very excited. And I can't wait to add those two credits into my uh, credits, my uh, coaster credits. Like, I'm very excited to add those two. Those are going to be great additions for both of those parks. And I'm just so, I'm very pumped. You've just got to feel the excitement rising. All right, so we're decorating the waterfront just a little bit here. I'm going to add some Vista points as well. 
So I guess we'll actually take some photos and stuff. I think that's really cool. I love that addition too. So they actually like take some pictures uh, while they're in the park. That's pretty cool. I love the new adventure pack with all these new uh, additions too as well. Right, we're gonna add a little bit of some other stuff. Other stuff here that will just kind of completely uh, make this area pop out a little bit, and you're just gonna go, "Wow, that looks awesome." That was one thing the park was missing was more water. Speaking of water, uh, my water is not working right now, so I hope I don't get thirsty. My water's out. I'm gonna say my pipes froze. I don't exactly know that, or maybe my bill didn't go through and they shut my water off on you. That's a brilliant way to start the new year, right? No water. I have no water in my house right now. You never know how important it really is until you actually lose it. I'm just kind of like, well, I hope I don't get thirsty. <laughs> Like, I legitimately hope I don't get thirsty. Otherwise, I'm going to have to go buy some bottles of water or something. Because I, I literally have no water right now. <laughs> so making a water ride is just making me go, oh, I'm getting thirsty. <laughs> That's what it feels like right now. Okay, so we're gonna add all these nice little rocks. I love just adding rocks too. They kind of just add, add on to it a little bit. All right, a couple more bushes. I don't want to overdo with the trees right here, so I want to make sure you can still have a good view of the Giga Coaster. But it's still gonna be absolutely stunningly beautiful. You add a couple more bushes over on this area on the side. Yeah, alright, don't levitate off the ground like that. Oh, that's because there's already something over there in that place. It's always a good feeling when, uh, you know, your home park gets a new roller coaster. It's just such an exciting thing because you're like, man, I'm going to be able to ride that ride. As many times as I want. <laughs> You're just going to be like, I'm going to be able to ride it more than anyone else. It's really nice. Alright, that's good. That's a good start right now. For right now. Alright, so uh, what I'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and build on the station grid. And I'm going to create just a little bit of an indoor section to start off here. So I, wanna, I wanted to use a wooden texture for this. Alright, so what we're going to do is... I'm going to wait on a roof here so I can get all my indoor stuff taken care of. All we're going to have is this and... Uh, uh, maybe the first turn out here. And then we can go back outdoors. So we're just going to have the outline of the indoor section here. Alright, and that will do it right there. Yeah, just about right there. I want all of this kind of enclosed. Alright, there we go. So that is going to be the first part, and we're going to be... Uh, getting into some scenery items here, and we're gonna kind of decorate the inside. So what I am going to do, we're gonna add a some wall climbers. Absolutely love these wall climbers. 
I love these. We're just gonna give it that uh, very ivy kind of theme going on here. This thing's gonna be like everything's gonna be like overgrown, overdone. I'm gonna rotate these so they all look kind of a little different. But yeah, once you're, when your new park gets a, it's just a, such a good feeling when your new park gets a new coaster or something really big, a new attraction, and uh, it, it's very exciting. You know, it's just, it's a very exciting time because you're like, some, some of you, some people are, uh, some parks you just go, finally something, you know? <laughs> It's like, finally, something, we got something, you know? And then there's some other parks that's just like, ah, it's, it's regular for us to get new new big rides like this all the time. <laughs> Cedar Point. Uh, and some of them, it's really like, oh my gosh, we're finally getting something. You know? And then, you know, I'm fortunate enough, my home park is literally 15 minutes down the road. So, it's like just a ri quick drive right down the road. Alright. I do enjoy the music. I, I'm glad that I am subscribed or have used the uh, funds to actually get this music to you guys. It's very useful for a lot of things. I, I found out. <laughs> Alright, again, this park uh, is, not, is not for theming, but this might be the most themed ride in the park, so. Uh, so after we get this ride done, we're really going to just kind of touch up on, like, uh, build the station building for the Giga Coaster, different things like that. We still got to do the transfer track and everything on that. Uh, and just a lot of uh, just normal details and stuff that need to be completed. I absolutely love... Putting this ivy stuff all over. It's just nice. Just a nice touch. We're just going to do the whole inside of the walls here to get started. And then we're going to add some more scenery items and uh, really kind of theme it up a little bit. So I'm hoping to get this park done mid to late January. We'll see just kind of depends where I'm at not gonna rush it uh, I'm gonna get the full thing done properly and again I don't think it will take as many episodes as Westwood did because there's not as much theming and stuff that I have to worry about I literally all I have to worry about is uh, mostly just the details for the park and there's not a lot of theming so you don't have to do uh, a ridiculous amount of details same is not going to be said, cannot be said for uh, Time City when we start on that. I've actually started practicing some stuff on that. Uh, to get ready, just to get myself prepared to build that, that thing. It's going to be the most ridiculous build I've ever done. So, again... We're not rushing anything. We're just going to have a lot more time on our hands to complete these things. And you're just going to see a lot more videos going up at the same time. So you're going to be seeing, like I said, a lot of Arrow Valley. Because this is the uh, biggest park that I have to complete. You're going to be seeing more Rustic City, hopefully, very soon. I kind of debate... Uh, didn't have time to record that actually yesterday because it's all New Year's Eve and stuff, you know, hanging out with family and stuff. But, um, but yeah, again, full time right now. So you should be seeing videos and live streams every day, uh, or vice versa, or whatever comes in. Is there going to be a train in Time City? Oh, okay, so I'm going to reveal the idea of Time City's kind of layouts of the park. So what it's going to be, 
So what it's pretty much going to be, it's not going to be necessarily a train. We're actually going to be a monorail taking you to the different sections of the park. This is how it's going to work. The monorail is going to act as the time machine. And it's going to take you to the different sections. So essentially there's going to be multiple parks at once. Kind of think uh, a time time machine version of Disney World or something. You know, the, how they have like four parks. Um, just kind of think of that. But it's all in one area and you have to use like the monorail to get to each uh, section of the park. So there's the parks aren't going to be connected. The parts are not going to be connected to each other. You actually have to take the monorail and travel through time to get there. You know, I think that just adds more to the charm and idea of it. And then in smack dab in the middle of the areas is going to be, you guessed it, a giant... Uh, uh, the There's going to be a big weenie in the park, and it's going to be this ginormous clock tower. Um, I know I've done clock towers before, but this is this clock tower is going to be the king of clock towers. So, okay, so that we got our vines in there, thank goodness. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, so we got the openings now. Now I'm gonna create the. Uh, so yeah, that's gonna be the idea of kind of like Time Cities. Um, where it kind of came about, and it's going to be really cool. I can keep it that way. Alright, and then to kind of close this off, we can just do that. Just so there's something there. Alright, so let's go back to scenery. I might add some extra vines on these and, like, have a hang, uh, hang over the, uh... In fact, I'm gonna do that now. Let's go ahead and go into nature and do some ivy hanging over the uh thing here don't want it i don't want it that low i want it it's kind of like that that's kind of how i want it don't need the skinnier glad there's like uh skinnier versions that we can use All these vines and stuff are making me think of, like, the shed and stuff. Don't go in the shed. What's in the shed? Alright, we're gonna put some nice little boulders slash rocks and everything. Kinda in some areas. I'm not going to completely fill it up with them, just a couple for scenery purposes. A couple of different rocks and uh, structures here. We can go, oh, there's rocks and actually a little bit of th a theming going in this. Just a little bit. This is going to be the only indoor section of the water ride.
All right, so now we're going to head into some props. We're going to get into a couple of light spots here, and we're going to go lights in the building sections here. That's what we want. So we're going to go decorations, lights, and I'm going to use this uh, lantern because I love this lantern so much. I probably overuse it, but I love it to death. Because it just works. It's good. We're going to put some on the outside too. Want to make it have a nice little night ride as well. Okay, so when it is dark, since we're doing some lighting, we're going to do this. Do some neat little lighting on the inside here. And I'm going to go AM, and we're going to add some special effects. So you got to love those special effects. I'm actually going to, need to go into some water effects. I'm going to press play just so I can see some of these effects. Oh, lava steam. I actually want to find some, let's see, that's water splash. Do you kind of want to have some splashing going around in here? So you can just go, oh, there's some water splashing. How neat. Gonna do a couple in here. All right, there's water splash large. Is there smaller ones? Some wa there's the water, the waterfalls. And if we go to ambience, we got mist, steam. steam. Let's go steam large. And with those, we can have the just add a little bit to it, you know, kind of a little ambience. Make it a little steamy in there. Just add a little bit more to it. But yeah, that's, that's quite nice. Let's add, uh, let's see, let's go props. We want to add some props in here. Let's add some props. I want to add, like, a little boat. I know we have a little boat. Or maybe even some adventure stuff. Ooh. We can have a saw blade. Saw blade. Just rise out and go, ha! Ah. Got the pendulum too. Look at the pendulum. Oh man, there's so many good things in the adventure pack. I don't, I don't know. I want to. I do want to use some of these for sure. But man, which one should we use? We should have a little water, water mill. Oh, just off the side here. Just 
Just actually off the side like this. For now. We'll keep it there for now. It looks cool. There's just so much you can do with uh, water rides sometimes. It's just amazing. All right, I do want to add, again, do want to add the boat still. Well, let's add a boat. Or whatever. Boat, there's no boat. All right, I'm just gonna go all. Right, that's what I wanted, the rowboat. All right, I'll get you above the water a little bit. Gonna have you kind of smudge between these rocks like you're stuck. And we're gonna go in to some special effects and acts like there's some. Uh, let's go to water. Gonna have some splashes in here. Oh. There we go. That's where I wanted it. Just above the water. Where's the water at? Gotta get the right angle. Maybe I have it angled slightly wrong. Do I have a smaller version of this? I apologize if the stream's lagging. It's lagging on mine too. Just out of nowhere it decides to lag. Because the thing just wants to be stupid. It's like any time I push play, it just wants to not work properly. We'll get through these special effects and then we'll... Let's see, we got water spout. That's large. What's What does small look like? That's what small looks like. I kind of want to make it look like there's holes in there, just for fun. Okay, I'm going to pause it because I think that's what lags it out so much, is just when there's effects and the uh, game's running. If I have it paused, I don't think it really does it as much, thankfully. But when the game's actually running on play, it actually lags it out for some reason. I don't know what the deal is with it, but that's what happens. I'm just trying to add all these special effects, you know. I guess that's the uh, punishment I get. Hopefully you can't see these too much. There we go. Get a little mist in there. It looks good. Just some nice theming elements. Now, I'm watching the stream. As soon as I pause it, 
the game stops lagging, or the, the video stops lagging, or the stream stops lagging. So weird. <sighs> so I'm gonna go nighttime. And we're gonna go get into some lighting. Go with a nice yellow right here. Yeah, hey, that's nice. Okay, not too much. Again, I said there's going to be a little bit of theming in this ride, but not a lot. It just kind of has like that little shipwreck kind of theme to it. It's just. Very generic-ish. Nothing too fancy. But I think that's... That'll be good. That'll definitely be something. Alright, now it's time to put... Uh, get a roof on top of this place. Actually, I don't want to do a flat roof, really. I want to... Actually do a slanted roof. Pitch roof. On this. We're just going to use the... Uh, these guys. I just think it will work better. I think it is. Yeah. As long as it works. Alright, there should be a piece I can put in here. There it is. As long as it works perfectly. But man, I'm so excited. Just so excited for this year. It's going to be a fantastic season and year and whatever else is to come. There's going to be so much to it. I thought I put one there already. Alright, we're going to put this guy top like this. We're going to add some wall pieces on it. And just like that. I kind of want to put some windows on this, just to kind of get that final touch. Oh, and one more touch. to change the grid size and I want to put this right in the middle here and it's gonna do the same except to rotate it the other way I 
Oops. And we'll get a roof tacked on here. Yeah. All right, now I kind of want to do some roof decorations. Oh. Something very simple like this. Just a nice little chimney or something. Just to top it off. I kind of want to find some wooden planks now of some sort. So that's what we're going to do. Always never fails if you type the word word wood. You'll find what you're looking for. Kind of want some of these. I'm just going to place a little, couple of pieces of wood. Gives it that last touch. We're going to get some couple of slanted pieces everywhere. Give it that old ruin kind of dated feel. So you go, oh, this is old. I don't know if I trust this building kind of feeling. That's the feeling we're going for. All right, we still got to do a roof for that a little bit. Let's get a long piece here as well. Brilliant. I'm gonna flip it around now. Give it a little bit more variety. There we go. Now it's got that old abandoned kind of indoor section. That'll make you uh, go, I don't know if I trust this. That kind of feeling. All right, so we're gonna build what used to be a nice roof.
Would you feel safe in this? Probably not. And that's the idea. I'm gonna place this on top of the roof. Just give it some different rotations. The idea is that this is kind of old, abandoned, and not very uh, safe. That's the feeling you should have. Going, uh, I don't know if this is secure. Don't think this is exactly up to code. Yeah. That's pretty good. Kind of what I was going for. So, it works. Let me get this a little bit rocky here. Things are gonna get rocky. Ha! As you can see. Alright, so that's coming together. That looks good. I like it. Yeah, the waterfront with the BM Giga coaster, and now you have this water ride with a lot of water. But very small. It's not, again, it's not a very big ride. But we want to make you feel like, oh no. And I'm about to say, oh no, because it's not letting me place the entrance. As if that's probably because it's underwater. Oh, don't you dare. Now we're gonna select that as well. If I push this, we're gonna raise it up just a pinch. Just to see if that makes a difference. I'm gonna use the uh, that as a guide. So it was about right there. Let's take it up about right here. I mean, it's above, so. Oh, come on. What are you doing? I'm gonna check my settings, make sure collisions and crap is off, which it should be. Oh, booger. Alright, so I'm going to raise it up a little bit. Quite a bit. See if it lets me place it now, which it does. And we're going to, afterwards, lower it back down. And see how far it lets us lower it back down. Oh, now, well... Let us go as far as we want now. Alright, so... The only thing is uh, that I'm worried about mainly is the pathways. If it even lets me make a path 
Yeah, see? It's gonna say, nope, that's obstructed. Well, you know what? You're obstructed. That's what I'm gonna say, you're obstructed. Okay, so we're gonna have to raise this just a tad more. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, you booger. Booger brains. Why is this even... I don't understand. How far above do you have to be before you can say, hey, that's okay? I have found another pet peeve of mine. Path collisions. What if I just sunk the whole thing underwater? Alright, how about right there? I feel like that's reasonable, but of course it's going to say it's not. See to me, that was reasonable. Face palm. Like, come on. Seriously? Does the whole entire bottom part of the path really have to be above water for you to go, oh, that's okay? How high up do you want me to go? Alright, that's apparently acceptable. But the entire log flume is above water now. Which is what I don't want. So I'm going to inch my way down as far as I can. Oh my gosh. Huh. I will say this is very annoying. I'm going to try a couple tricks. Sometimes you can get by with some tricks to see if it works. There are some tricks you can do. My first trick is to get rid of the water. Make the path and see if I can't rebuild the or replace the water. I've never tried this before. Yep, it's gonna get me all red. What kind of booger crap is this? Okay, I got one more idea. Let's see if this will help. What if we went straight up And I can at least get a path going, maybe. I don't know, we'll see. Nope, it's not going to let me just because the path is connected to it. Oh, man. Okay, we're going to try and fix this. Without getting rid of everything here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the station 
over here and we're just going to connect the uh, channels accordingly. Okay, that's what that's what we're going to have to do. A station can't be in water. It can be. It actually can be. If you do it right. If you lower it down, it lets you, but I don't understand how it works. See, like if I raise it up, ka-chang, place the water in, and then if you actually lower it down, it puts, lets you, it allows you to put it in. <laughs> you see what I mean? So it allows you to do it, but I'm going to say it's a kind of a glitch probably now we're gonna go down just a pinch further but it's okay I have a plan that will work don't worry without getting rid of anything so what we're gonna do is we're gonna edit the track and we are actually going to delete the uh, station I'm gonna build from here, actually. So we're gonna have a turn into there. Station. Okay, so now we're gonna have to get up to that level. In order to do that, we're gonna have to create a little bit of a lift hill. Why is this not an option to finish? Is it not possible? I just love how it just says, how it's just like, nope. We're not gonna help you in this one. Maybe if we work a little bit further back here. Haha! -ha. That's just a little bit less jolting.
Let's smooth that drop. Okay, so now that we got actually have it out of the water, it's actually gonna allow us to place an entrance and stuff. Yay! <laughs> All right, so the entrance and exit will be over here. All right, the entrance now. I'm actually gonna have it go over here. Should have enough to be able to go underneath this path. And we can create some queue line over here. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that's why. Let's just be more difficult. Why? Why is that a why is that obstructed? Is is someone that's eight feet tall gonna hit their head on that? What is the name of the song on right now? Um I don't know how long it's been playing or how delayed this is, but this one's called A New Life. This one currently. I don't know. That's what it's called. Let's make the exit path first, I guess. Nope. You're not doing what I want you to do. You're automatically connecting to stuff that I don't want you to connect to. Stop it. And now you're just like, oh, I don't want to do connect that way at all. I can't do it. There you go. <laughs> oh. Sometimes this likes to just be complicated. I don't know why. What? Q, Q would be invalid. What are you talking about? It would be invalid. Oh my gosh, now you're wanting to do that crap. No. Nope, nope, we're not doing that. <laughs> you won't let me go. Under. Oh, we're on Path of a Hero, one of my favorite songs. In this. It's all gonna look a little choppy at the start, but trust me, it'll look better once we get to, like the station bu uh, getting built and stuff. Create some wide switchbacks here. Alright, we're gonna head down here.
Oh, we're pretty close to the other coaster here. Didn't notice that. All right, I'm actually not going to do the switchbacks that way because I want to make sure there's plenty of room still over here. So we'll do the switchbacks this direction. been more of a challenge than I thought it would end up being. Some kind of difficult. Alright, so we're going to edit off the building of the track here. And uh, we still have some stuff to do now. <laughs> Unfortunately. I'm actually going to go straight to the framework and we're going to use these wooden frames uh, for this. Okay, so what we're going to do now, instead, since it took me off, you little booger, this just wants to be mean to me. It just wants to be mean to me. That's all it wants to do. All right, grid size, does that line up? No, it doesn't. So we're not going to be doing that. We're going to make our own grid, I suppose, then. It's not going to be proper, so, oh my gosh. What are you doing? Just please. Edit the building. We are going to do this. Get rid of the grid height. And there's a nice, beautiful exit ramp. I'm going to edit this and we're going to see if this is compatible. I'm going to use that word compatible, which is not really going to be. So we are just going to place it down and we are going to split from building and we are just going to do where we need it. Make it completely square with a piece of pathway. like that all right beautiful now we're going to just 
Uh, edit the building. And we are going to essentially build kind of like a bridgeway. To support all of this. Ah, there we go. That looks bad. And we will add more stuff like that, but ah. That's a start. That's a good, good starting point right there. So, at the moment, we're just going to add a couple of fun little pieces here details and here And you know what time it is. You can't watch JLW Games without watching him place a beautiful amount of trees. I almost wanted to place some paths that will come along here and, and you just get a good view of the ride, but... I think I'll leave it the way it is. Leave room for expansion, wink. This will hopefully start to come together into a beautiful section of unforgettableness that no one will ever forget. How about that? We're starting to come together. This park is really starting to get more full and more detailed and obviously a lot of detailing still to go, but we're really starting to fill in those spots. And it's starting to become 
clear of what we are doing now. And that is building a beautiful, awesome park. I'm going to go ahead and fill in the back sections here of this area. That way we're gradually just filling these in as we go. That's looking great. So the Giga Coaster just, I, I think, is a huge compliment to the park. Really glad that I decided to put it in. And build one. I also didn't have a lot of skills that building a giga coaster so I think it's a great addition uh, to help further my skills in to the planet coaster area but how about that man it's a very it's gonna be a very easy part to navigate to because you know there's actually not a lot of um, areas you know to uh, when you really think about it too but there's just so much packed into a small amount of space essentially We'll go through and we're probably going to add maybe a couple more flat rides along the way just to get a larger attraction count in the park. Get more of these guys in here. I want to do more with that water. I just feel like it's empty. I don't know. I don't really know if there's really anything else I can do with it, but... I'm just going to fill in some of these areas with some bushes and stuff because they're very empty. Couple of rocks as well. Maybe a couple small trees within this area. But overall, it's still, you can tell that they did construction in this section. But there are a couple trees that grow back ever so slightly. You know. I like that there's just a slight uh, terrain difference here, right there. That just looks nice. Look how beautiful that is. Do a couple of small trees throughout here. I'm just taking in this absolutely beautiful view 
with this roller coaster and the water and just the skyline of this park is absolutely incredible. Our Valley surely is a very beautiful park. I really am proud of it. You know, it's just... It's just good. You know, and do I like it more than Westwood? That's a tough, tough call, because I really like Westwood because of the theming and everything. But this... This has really turned out a lot uh, more, you know, the skyline turned out a lot better than I thought it would. I don't know what you guys think, but I love it. So we're going in and we're placing some rock pieces around just to add a little bit more to the area. around here just fill it up a little bit just just a little everyone says I have an obsession with trees but my gosh if you were to put this ride by itself with nothing. Once you... Placing trees just does it. Foliage and... Bushes and... Everything else. It, it's all worth it. It's all worth the extra time. I really do... Stay to my statement that... It really make, can make a crappy ride look amazing. So that's looking that looks incredible I love I think the Giga was well 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 received well good well good idea <laughs> however you want to call it Look at those Giga supports. I'm, so, I've never been so proud about uh, custom supports that I've made than these Giga supports. These B and M Giga supports are just incredible. I actually used the reference from uh, Furies, so. And then look at the flanges. They just, they look good, and they're all custom made. It's beautiful. Sorry, I get into this uh, mood where I just like looking at stuff in my park. You walk through that entrance and you are just complete, completely destroyed. You don't know where to go. You're just like, 
holy crap, there's a big, big giant giga coaster back there. There's an awesome wing coaster right there. I see an arrow in the back, a uh, nice arrow looper in the background. I see this awesome GCI Woody. And then there's this huge RMC T-Rex coaster. There's an awesome drop tower over there. Which way do I go? That's kind of like the feeling you have. And then you're like, oh, look, all these shops and restaurants in front of me as well. So if you go over here, you just have Steel Eagle. Oh, that awesome Chief Beef. And you got the uh, balloon ride, balloon flight. <clears throat> you got a lot of perimeter fences around uh, Steel Eagle because it goes all around the entire pathway. It's a very interactive uh, wing coaster. But, oh my gosh, and then you got the Ferris wheel. Again, a lot of details and stuff that need to be touched up in these areas a little bit, but... Oh, look at that. They got the, got the arrow. Oh, that's just a picturesque moment right there. I gotta put a vista point right here. You just have to. We just gotta put a vista point. No doubt about it. Do one there. Do one there. I'm just going to place a couple of them here. I oh, guess can just take pictures of this incredible ride. It's a very small, simple ride, but very picturesque one. In fact, let's add some more Vista points around the park. Something I haven't done in a while. I haven't done yet. Of course, we gotta put some in front of the fountains. Kinda like that. Put some in front of the signs already of that. We're gonna place a couple of them. Let's see. I just like seeing people take pictures in my park. It's awesome. All right, that'll be good for right now until we find some more awesome ones. Probably get one around the Giga Coaster somewhere so you can get an awesome picture of it. Once you ride it, that's gonna be an incredible, just an incredible ride. So, just to kind of recap what we've done, we've really worked on this side of the park, this area, and really filled it in. We added a log flume ride. Very simple log flume ride that has a little themed indoor section. Not too much to it, but that's a nice little indoor section. Uh, we still have to do the queue line and the station building for it and just kind of fill up the gaps there. Uh, that will be kind of like a detailing episode. We still have to make the station building and queue line and everything for the Giga Coaster and a couple of details here and there like I want to make a staircase from the uh, uh, mid-course uh, just like a real one. That's gonna be cool. Um, and this is going to be like its own little section here. I might even add another flat ride or two in some certain sections and areas and of the park and everything. And it's going to be incredible.
There's just a lot of, and, and as you can see, there's some little random place spots like this. Uh, I think that need another shop or so. That is going to be a good spot. And occasionally we need to build some, like, more, like, little bathroom spots as well. Because I don't really have much throughout the park. Um, so we're going to have to build a couple more bathroom areas uh, in some different sections. Just so guests have some more, uh, you know, more than just one place to go to the bathroom. In fact, I don't even know if I have a bathroom in the park yet. The only one I can think of is up before the entrance of the park. And the arrow hall. Yeah. <laughs> I have the arrow hall. Which has some restaurants and stuff. If you don't want to go in the park, you can go through the arrow hall. Which is a nice little, like, shop building. Kind of like a little mall. Right at the entrance of the park. So I'm going to give you guys a little tour. Uh, for those that have not been following the series as much... Um, we are currently on episode 18, and look at all the stuff we've done in 18 episodes. It just kind of throws me, blows me away, kind of. Alright, so you got the entrance here, which, this is the parking lot. You got the cars come in and out here. Got a little walkway, and, uh, it's just a very large, outspread, uh, parking lot. Lots of different parking sp spaces. You're gonna go through here, and you're in the entrance area. You got guest relations and security in this building. Very modernist kind of, modern kind of uh, feel to it. You got the ticket booth. You got season passes here. And you have the day tickets. Uh, kind of like little cute lines there. So that's a nice little building uh, for tickets. And when you walk in, you can just see uh, the T-Rex coaster behind this building. Really, really cool uh, photo-esque kind of moments. You go to the right here, you got the Era Hall, which again is kind of like a little mini mall with some places to eat and stuff. Then you got this picturesque kind of Era Valley entrance, which is really nice. I mean, really, you see the Giga Coaster just towering over the park. It's just incredible how awesome the skyline is. Then you have the entrance to the park. Oh my gosh, what just happened? <laughs> you have the entrance of the park, and just incredible views here. Here, just to get a feel for it here, which get rid of the, uh, that. This is what we got so far. That's that incredible Giga Coaster. And then if we head over the right, this is the first area we started off on when we first started building the park, obviously a couple of areas still needing a little bit more attention. We got all these pathways. And then this is going to have the uh, logo for the wing coaster. Which is Steel Eagle. This is the queue line for Steel Eagle. And you just got Steel Eagle, which is an awesome wing coaster. And you got all of these pathways to kind of walk through and get some really good views of it. Got Balloon Flight over here. Another brilliant uh, uh, little balloon, co balloon ride. I'm going to have to replace these with actual... Um, benches and stuff since we got real benches now here's a ch modern chief beef restaurant and then something interesting i did was actually make the uh transfer track for the wing coaster over this pathway which is uh, very interesting i have like these little nets here and everything that way nothing drips or nothing gets on or falls on to the guests down below But kind of a neat thing because it's still kind of realistic uh, when you think about it. So then we come over here. Again, a lot of unfinished area spots here. From the back of the entrance here with the uh, 
Ferris wheel, kind of like a uh, centerpiece uh, attraction. Now if we head back in this area, we have a classic aero coaster. Oh gosh, very similar to like the corkscrew model and everything. You got the corkscrew going over the pathway. Nice little picturesque uh, moment here. And we got the Giga Coaster in the background. But that's going to be all filled up. And we got a chair swing flat ride. Kind of got a, like, a nice little flat ride and uh, thrown in a spinning coaster here. A lot of different stuff here. A couple of different rides. Then you get back in this section of the park. And we've got the wooden coaster, the GCI. You can see all the switchbacks for it. And it's gonna be, it's a brilliant ride as well. We head on to this section of the park. This is one of the newer sections we've been working on. And that is the, uh, for the wood coaster switchbacks there. We got a nice, beautiful drop tower. And very beautiful, kind of like a little plaza here. And then we also have the water ride, which is the log flume. Which obviously is very incomplete right now. This leaves some room for expansion this way. Maybe we'll add something that way eventually. Then we get to the over in this section over here. Gotta keep moving over here. And we got the little entrance plaza for the uh, T-Rex coaster. Lime green. There's its transfer track. There's the, its exit, which actually goes underneath the station itself. Pretty nice. Very modern-y kind of looking interesting station. Not much to it. But very beautiful to look at. As you can see, the very first part of the ride is very spread out, open, big, and then it just goes to this very, like, lots of tight turns and inversions and stuff like that uh, right afterwards. But yeah, the skyline is absolutely gorgeous, and we haven't made like a plaza or anything yet, or pathway for the Giga Coaster just yet, which we will eventually, but I hope you guys are enjoying this series as much as I am. I say it every time, but this is becoming a very awesome project that I'm very happy with so far. But we got let's see so what what essentially we're gonna be doing in the next couple of episodes is we're gonna be finishing up the water ride um, scenery and sections there we're gonna be working on the giga coaster area uh, giga coaster did I say giga oh gosh oh that's gonna start up stuff in the comments of course <laughs> and um, then uh, we're just going to go back and literally just detail everything to the T, to the bone, add some, a couple more flat rides possibly, and uh, just overall finish it up. And uh, after we get around that, like I said, I, I'm kind of predicting around 30-ish-esque episodes around there, if I had to guess. You're going to be seeing probably episodes of this nearly every day. Um, if I, of course, I get super ridiculously bored of it, maybe, I don't know. 
but uh, it's coming together quite nicely. Um, we got some more landscaping I want to do as well on the outside and just kind of create environments around it as well. <clears throat> but... But, uh, yeah, so... In, in the sense, I get the feeling that it's kind of like... It's kind of a small coast... Or it's kind of a small park, but it's a big park at the same time. You know, it, it doesn't have as many pathways as I thought it was going to have. It's kind of a smaller... Uh, smaller than I thought it would have been. It's just kind of like one of those where there's pathways everywhere... And everything's just kind of built inside and around it, so... Kind of interesting, you know, you have six roller coasters, and, uh... Let's see. I think we have around 11 or 12 actual rides. Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 rides right now. Which might change. I like Again, I'd like to get into the, uh... Um... I kind of like to get into the, uh, um, you're frozen. No, I'm, I'm not frozen. I just haven't moved the, uh, <laughs> uh, anything around lately, so. <laughs> but I'd like to get to the Durat, the 20 re attraction range and stuff. That'd be kind of neat. Man, just, a uh, incredible. Like, I just did, I, at the end of, of my episodes, I just like to admire the beauty that we do have that is some of these rides. You know, I, I get a lot of com some comments that the drop looks kind of weird. I mean, I get where you're coming from, but at the same time, I think it's pretty, pretty good. I kind of see where you're, where you're coming from, but I don't think it looks too bad. Raise your hand if you have only been to two parks in your life. Man, I hope not. <laughs> not for me. Yeah, what an incredible addition to the JLW Entertainment chain this is going to be. So I'm excited, and I'm excited for... What Westwood's gonna bring with this alongside it, and just more stuff. Let's go ahead and save. But man. I'm going to exit to the main menu real quick. Just for a moment. Because I want to show you guys a couple of things. But yeah, that park uh, obviously is coming to go really nicely. Alright, so let's take a look at some of the saved parks. So you can see I've been practicing a little bit on my parking lot skills as well. I've really been trying to practice some of this stuff. Oh gosh. There's Golden Valley. And you can see a lot of these junk files that I have. I just literally go in and build some random stuff. And just have fun with it. Hey, there's that mini park. Remember that mini park? I remember that mini park. Here's a park that I didn't get really far on, but I was really proud of. It was like an off-screen project. Terrain dive coaster. Sometimes I just get off-screen and just, like, do stuff. Let's see. I actually want to take a look at this. Dino Lake. I remember I was... I kind of remember this one a little bit. I was trying to build... Essentially a kind of like a dinosaur themed park. 
and heavily kind of, uh, yeah, I started this a long time ago. It's a lot older than I thought it was. But yeah, look how, look how that was turning out, though. That was, can't believe I didn't continue this one. I'm just going to create a little restaurant area there, I can tell. This was kind of, this was kind of like my, uh, Kuali Beach inspired uh, park that was kind of ish going, kind of the tropical theme called the Dino Lake. Kind of went all out, really, with detailing on this one as much as I could. Didn't really do too much on these buildings just yet. I did a lot of, like, tried to do a lot of custom stuff. That's what I was really aiming for. I remember this, um, but we're really just placing a lot of detail into the park skin. Not a whole lot. If you really focus on, you know, I'm a slow builder myself, but if you really focus on some of these, you can make a lot of things happen. Some really good things. And uh, I remember spending just an hours just on this entrance. <laughs> You know, just trying to create something that feels nice. And it makes me really excited for when I do Time City, because I'm going to be, uh, you know, stuck on different sections for a long time, because we're going to be, like, literally... And the same area forever. It's just going to be incredible. So. But anyways. I hope you guys have enjoyed this, this stream. Live stream of this episode. Of. Uh, this whatever it's called. Uh, Era Valley. <laughs> now don't be fooled by this time city. This was just kind of like a fun thing. That I was starting. That essentially started the idea. Kind of ish. I already had the idea in mind, but this was just a for fun time city thing that I was going to do. But anyways, uh, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe for more awesome content like this. And I hope you guys are enjoying the stream, these streams as much as I do. We'll continue on uh, later with more and more stuff down the line. So um, I will catch you guys next time. Stay warm out there. It's very cold out, especially where I'm at right now. I think it's like... And single digits right now. I don't exactly know. I haven't looked at the uh, the weather. But anyways, I hope you guys have a great day. If you're cooler tomorrow, I'll catch you guys in the next live stream or video. Thanks so much, and goodbye. Have a great day. You're cooler tomorrow.